in the Supreme Master Ching Hai International Association Appreciation News, dedicated Buddhist monk and teacher of Tibetan Buddhism, Reverend Acharya Sonam Dorje Rinpoche, graciously received $45,000 US dollars from our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai on October 18, 2018, the third monetary gift from Master this year. In January 2018, Master offered $10,000 US dollars to Acharya Sonam Dorje Rinpoche and another $20,000 US dollars in July. The benevolent Rinpoche is the founder of the Sri Lo Basic School, a Buddhist school for children in Himalayan Nepal. In 2015, an earthquake seriously damaged the school, which is still in need of repair. Master contributed the latest funds to help rebuild the school with love and gratitude to the Rinpoche's graceful kindness in Buddha's blessing. The Rinpoche is very grateful to Master for all her contributions. In an interview with our association members, he explained that an annual festival in the mountainous Himalayan region held October 20th this year is sadly commemorated with the slaughter of innocent animals. Thus, the caring monk allocated some of the funds to save those animals, such as yaks, arrange for their food, as well as pay for full-time caregivers so they may live freely in the mountains. <laughs> The noble Rinpoche also shared how he has used some of the previous contributions including purchasing vegan food staples and daily supplies for the school children and rebuilding the school. Our humble appreciation, Reverend Acharya Sonam Dorje Rinpoche, for your loving, benevolent work helping all cherished beings. May you always be protected and embraced in Buddha's divine love. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort and support to the afflicted and needy and or any good cause over the years as a humble vessel for here's compassion and love toward here's precious children. South Africa and United Arab Emirates strengthen ties. During the South Africa and UAE's Joint Commission second session in the South African administrative capital of Pretoria, the two countries agreed on increasing bilateral partnership. Areas of emphasis included the economy, infrastructure, services and innovation. Furthermore, the nations reached an agreement to collaborate in social development and renewable energy focusing on solar parks. Earlier this year, the UAE announced an investment of 10 billion US dollars in South Africa in various fields to assist the nation in sustainable development. With many thanks, we laud your partnership, South Africa and the United Arab Emirates. May your shared path lead to a future of prosperity and increase common good for your amicable people. And may God bless you always. In Australia, children and elderly people joyously interact. An Australian not-for-profit aged care facility called Imlay House in New South Wales has found great success by bringing together children and their older dementia patients three mornings a week. The mature residents spend time playing games and interacting with the three to five-year-olds in a special daycare room at the facility. This Imlay Kindy program has enhanced the senior residents' cognitive skills and mood, and even seems to eliminate dementia for some time. It's also considered that the interaction will help the children value diversity. What an excellent initiative, Imlay House! May both the children and their newfound friends continue to enjoy each other's company and love in heaven's grace. Turkey lauded for exemplary care of refugees. The United Nations Population Fund representative in Turkey, Karl Kulesa, has praised Turkey a Shining World Leadership Award for Compassion Selectee for the wide range of care, including social welfare, education, employment and health services provided to the Syrian refugees living in the country. 
Expenses involved in helping the more than 3.5 million refugees since 2011 has been more than 32 billion US dollars for the Turkish government. The European Union delegation ambassador to Turkey, His Excellency Christian Berger, also praised Turkey's hospitality, saying, Syrians have always been warmly welcomed and taken care of in the last seven years. Our appreciation, Karl Kulesa, and Your Excellency Christian Berger for calling our attention to Turkey's outstanding benevolence. Surely such actions of lovingly helping brothers and sisters in their time of need are joyously praised in heaven and on earth with Allah's blessings. China opens its first solar thermal energy project. The De Linghua project, a commercial large-scale solar thermal power plant, went into operation in Qinghai Province, China. Constructed by China General Nuclear Power Corporation CGN, New Energy, a subsidiary of CGN, the plant can produce 200 million kilowatts of electricity annually, which is equivalent to the power generated from 60,000 tons of coal with the emission of 100,000 tons of greenhouse gas. The plant uses lenses to concentrate sunlight and heat a traditional steam engine generator to produce power. This technology ensures stable and continuous power generation in cold areas such as Qinghai. Another 19 such plants are being planned. Bravo China for your leadership in developing renewable energy to reduce pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. May the providence bless the earth protecting Chinese people with abundance and happiness. San Diego commits to provide housing for homeless individuals. San Diego City Council in California, United States has pledged to build 1,260 transitional housing units for individuals currently experiencing homelessness across the city by January 2021. The units will offer on-site counselling and addiction treatment, which studies have demonstrated help 80 to 90 percent of formerly homeless residents to remain in housing. Federal funds and a minimum of 32 million US dollars allocated by the state to end homelessness will finance the project. Other US cities, including Los Angeles, San Francisco, Boston, Portland, Chicago and Philadelphia, are also making this type of permanent supportive housing available. Our accolades and gratitude, all cities providing housing to our sisters and brothers in need. May all people enjoy happy days and peaceful nights in cosy and safe homes, in God's blessings. The United Kingdom supermarket's vegan food sales jumped significantly. The UK-based major supermarket chain Waitrose recently announced that the sales of vegan and vegetarian foods have gone up by 85% compared to the previous year. To meet this growing demand, Waitrose recently introduced 25 new plant-based products, including pizza. Earlier this year, Waitrose became the first UK supermarket chain to have a section solely dedicated to vegan foods. Other UK supermarket chains, like Tesco and Asda, are also starting to launch more of their own brand vegan products with much success. Hats off Waitrose, Tesco and Asda for tuning in to the fast-growing vegan trend. We're overjoyed that so many vegan selections are now easily available and we can't wait to try them all.